Welcome back to you. I'm Michael Corrin, and this is The Arena, obviously. In our moral maze, we often do many subjects, but I think just one for this particular moral maze. A woman called Mary Wagner is in prison because she illegally enters abortion clinics to peacefully protest uh, at what they're doing. And she's become a hero to many in the pro-life community. But she is committing an offence, and some would argue the solution to all this is to change and not break the law. Lisa Globe from Campaign Life is here to discuss. She was just looking at her phone. She probably has some secret information there, don't you? <laughs> Absolutely, always. Now, Mary Wagner, was she 39, is she? Uh, she's 40. She just turned she's 40. Just 40. Yeah. And um, she is in Milton, I think. She's at the Vanier Women's Centre in right. Milton. How many times has she been arrested? On and off since 2010, but she's been in jail for long periods of time, over two years. Right. Mm -hmm. Now, there's another person called Linda Gibbons, who, mm -hmm. uh, who's probably high profile. Mm -hmm. And now, Linda, as far as I know, and she, she's probably been arrested more times, she's been years yeah. in prison, she walks up and down outside abortion clinics. Mm -hmm. And um, that, I think, is easier to have an opinion on because she's breaking the bubble zone, but the bubble zone is nonsense. Mm -hmm. It needn't be there. There are not hordes of violent pro-lifers screaming to get into abortion clinics. And with Linda, in this case, though, Mary Wagner is entering... Mm -hmm illegally she knows she will be arrested she's doing it because she will be arrested surely mm -hmm. well it's funny because nothing that she's doing is actually illegal she is going into the waiting rooms of abortion clinics with roses a couple years ago she had little gift wrap ornaments for the mothers and she basically just has a tag that has a crisis pregnancies helpline yeah. sent, uh, number on it yeah. so she asks them you know would you like a rose or would you like an ornament or do you, or do you need any uh, at abortion alternative information right. if they say yes she'll give it to them if they say no she she won't, but because she's taking away f from the business, which is what well, she's actually... Well, before you go, because I stick to the facts here, because mm -hmm. she prays too. No, when she goes into the clinic, she specifically talks to the women who okay. are waiting to get abortions. Because in, in court, evidence was given that she... I mean, it's a wonderful thing, but that she prays. The point I'm trying to make here is... Because th there's a lot of, um, I think, a rather disingenuous approach that, about this. She's going in there to be arrested. She knows she will be arrested. And I understand that, and she understands that. But let's not pretend she thinks they'll say, this is interesting, there's an alternative to what's going on here. You know, she, and th there is a disruption that is going on. I, mean, I think that is why she's doing it. I understand why, mm -hmm. but what's being achieved? So many things are being achieved. I mean, it, we look at history and peaceful civ civil disobedience has helped many causes and pro-life is just one of them. Even MP Maurice Vellicott noticed that when he awarded her the Diamond Jubilee Medal in a couple of years ago, saying that um, peaceful yeah. disobedience is necessary when there are defenseless human beings being butchered. He gave butchered. it to all sorts of people. He gave it to me as it's well. It's still no congratulations. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? <laughs> <laughs> did not. Um, but I think that uh, not only is it um, effective in helping the women who are actually sitting in the waiting rooms where babies have been saved because she has talked to them in a place that they never expected but also when she goes into the prison she said that um, you know 80 percent of the women inside the jail uh, have had abortions and she's able to help them a um, majority of them uh, regret their abortions and um, even myself I was involved in a case because an eight-month-old a, a woman who was eight months pregnant within the walls of the jail yeah. was being pressured to have an abortion because she was saying no she was only given food and uh, right. water you and came on the show to talk about yeah it. bread and water and because right. of our, our intervention because yeah. someone was in prison right. they she was able now, to give birth to the baby it, it's my job my vocation as a journalist to mm -hmm. ask questions not just sit here open mouth First of all, um, I'd like to see the evidence of all these people who, these women who were sitting there to have an abortion and then change their mind. Mm -hmm. Also, to know that 80% of women in a prison have had abortions is quite extraordinary because you'd have to speak to every woman and know she was telling the truth. So, I mean, I'm not entirely sure how we have that information. But I have an issue with people protesting because... I do believe resisting what you think is an unjust law is, is part of the fabric of our culture. What I don't understand is people then saying she shouldn't go to prison. I think, I, I've never met her as far as I know, but I would think she understands why she's going to prison and mm -hmm. probably thinks it's the right way to, to protest and, and actually bring attention to, to the subject. But why are people protesting that she's actually in prison? I mean, the law is the law. I don't think the police say, oh, great, we can arrest her again. I don't think judges say, terrific. And they're, trying to, they're just doing their job. I mean, they can't say the law is not the law. It is the law. We can change it, but it is the law. But, I mean, a lot, in many cases, the judges have a biasness towards this specific case. For example, just a couple of years ago when Mary was on trial for disrupting the operation of a business, yeah. that's what she gets tried for. Um, one of the, when she asked why she does this, she was talking about how she has a higher moral law. 
and the judge said, you, your law is wrong and your God is wrong, and basically yeah. screamed at her that she was wrong and that her moral convictions were wrong. So Was that judge not then, was there not an appeal and she was reprimanded for that? No, not at all. There was I no, there was. it was I mean, publicized. Again, when you say there's a bias, I, I know a lot of judges, and I also know that Linda Gibbons, for example, a judge said, look, I don't want to do this. Mm -hmm. But you, you give me no option. If you just say to me you won't do it again, but if you keep breaking the law, I, I have to implement the law. I mean, it, it's too easy to say all the judges are biased and all the cops are biased. Most cops don't want to be there. Uh, there are all sorts of people in prison who've done nothing wrong, particularly from minority backgrounds, young, you know, they've been arrested, they shouldn't be there, no one's campaigning for them. I know she's now gone to Poland, mm -hmm. and or she had been in Poland, and, and the, you know, the, a big campaign in Poland, and, and some of the things that are being said, I have to say it hurts a bit, because they're attacking Canada and our culture this is a great country. This is a country based on freedom and democracy and pluralism. And I don't think it's the place of the polls to say that uh, Canada is, is, a, is a fascist state. That's nonsense. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I'm not sure about the Poland situation. I know that they did a documentary of her there. But I want to just go back to the fact of are these people just doing their jobs? Mm. Because I, I, don't, I don't know if you remember his name, but there was a policeman in the 80s who was uh, told to go arrest pro-lifers outside of an abortion yes, clinic and refused. Him, yeah. and, re and he refused to, even though that was, what he, that was his job. Yeah his moral convictions prevented him from doing something whereby people were protesting an unjust law. Mm. And when you have something like abortion that's so prevalent in, in Canadian society, I think that Mary makes all pro-lifers look bad yeah. because she's actually treating good. this issue like there is a child being killed look in the good, womb. Look good, Pardon me? You said look bad. The, no, she, she, makes, us all look, no, she oh, makes us all look really? bad because okay. she is actually yeah. acting like abortion is what, killing a human being. What would you say being? to a police officer who was told to go to a, to a Catholic church to arrest an atheist who was, being, who was making a noise and said, I can't do that because I'm an atheist? Would you defend his right to not do it? Well, I mean, there's a difference between someone making a disturbance and someone trying to actually save lives. She is and making, Mary well, is, she is actually making a, making a tangible difference. She's not making this. If she's going into a place and has roses, and mm. is, you, if you met her, she talks so quietly. Of course she does. It's not her making the disturbance. Yeah. It is the nurses and the, the yeah. people at the clinic screaming to, it, for her to but, get the F out. That's it, who's but, making but again, the disturbance. Is, again, we have to be honest here. Is her presence required? They want her to leave, don't they? Absolutely, because it's, it's, it's ruining their business. It's all about they business. don't get paid if she, if she, prevents, if she yeah. convinces women not to get abortion. I just find the word a little bit more nuanced. I, I, you know where I stand on these issues. Uh, I don't believe any, everyone who, who supports abortion is a bad person, only in it for the money. I just don't believe that. I, I've met too many who are not. Uh, I disagree with them, but I don't think they're bad people. I've met people in the pro-life movement who sometimes have motives which concern and confuse me. But I think, the difference I think there's is a middle one, way. Per, one person is on the right side and one person is on the wrong side. Mm -hmm. One person stands for the killing of innocent, defenseless human beings, yeah. butchering them in the womb, and other people are trying to stop it, regardless of their character. One, one last question. What is more pro-life? Raising a family, paying taxes, sacrificing so your children are, are formed properly, making sure that you know, you're the, the partner, the husband, the wife, who, who you should be, and going out there in a world which can be very challenging or being behind bars with, let's be honest, very few responsibilities and being regarded by some, at least, as a great martyr. I think that both are equally important, but after 40 years of abortion on demand, we have yeah. to do more. Okay, all right. I appreciate it as always. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Michael. Uh, Facebook and Twitter and email and all sorts of things. So many ways of being part of the Sun News community, which is what we are, and you're part of that. Lots more to come, don't go away.